hey guys it's Ren. welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be doing a 2013 in review and pretty much i'm just going to talk about a little bit of what i learned in 2013 and i just finished watching a video from shameless maya and she had i think the title of her video was what i learned about social media in 2013 and it inspired me pretty much to come and just make a video first of all telling you guys happy new year because i have not said that i know i've posted a video already for the year but um let me tell y'all happy new year excuse my manners excuse me happy new year dear um yes so now that we have that out the way uh i just really want to talk a little bit about what i learned in 2013 um, I got my new camera I think for my birthday which was in June but then work had me so caught up that after I came home from work I was so tired because I was actually working on a physical job site in the hot sun doing my labor not saying anything is wrong with my labor but for me who usually was in the office handling that side of business to then be thrown out into the field it was a little bit difficult I'm not gonna lie so by the time I came home, I was just so very tired. There were, there was a long list of videos that I wanted to do, and um, I still have that list, and I still want to get to doing it. But um, I found that really difficult. But the best thing about being thrown out of my comfort zone and being put in a situation where um, I wasn't particularly comfortable with is that I got to meet a lot of people and I got to learn how to deal with people and mostly um, difficult people. Um, so yeah, it kind of was a learning experience for me in that you have to learn how to deal with people. You have to learn with the people higher up on the chain of command and you had to you know deal with people who were at your level some a little bit lower some a little bit higher it was just a learning experience to me but it really did take it out of me and i felt as though i didn't give as much as i could to you too but then on the other hand even though i was not filming i still was on youtube watching a lot of girls and it is a little bit difficult for me in that my channel for me is not all not all about beauty it is well, other little things but i do find myself recently doing a lot of beauty related videos makeup etc etc and i have no problem with that but truthfully when i first started this channel it was not about that not in the least um i do want to go a different direction with my channel not completely away from makeup i i have learned in the past year or so um last year anyway that i really do like makeup and with me anything art and crafty because it is something in creating and using colors and using skill the more i do it the more i realize that i get better at it not only just the wild and crazy looks but just the everyday stuff um i kind of filmed a little get ready with me with this look i mean truthfully i don't really like it all that much but it's okay i just try to make myself look presentable to do this video because i was inspired and i decided i will get on and do it right now so yeah i'm gonna ramble just a little bit so just bear with me but what i was saying pretty much is that my channel started out being a mix of different things and i don't want to pin myself down to one thing saying this is a beauty channel because to be very honest <laughs> if any of you watch those beauty gurus over there it is really freaking expensive to keep up with those girls and they do get a lot of stuff sent to them i'm not saying that i wouldn't go on buy but to be very honest i do have a fair set of makeup and even with the small collection that i have right now i'm not gonna get through all of it in the next say two three years that's the honest truth but i do enjoy doing those videos so don't be worried i'm gonna stick to it i'm gonna do it for those who have subscribed to me because of the makeup um, when it comes to the hair i have a few videos i know that a lot of people subscribe to me because of my hair videos and yes i'm going to be back on that again 2014 because i've made a promise to myself to take a little bit better care of my hair um i don't have uh, much problems with my hair and the products that i use pretty much work for me and i'm not going to tell like i'm so afraid of using something a little bit different and something happening with my hair and i really don't want to go down that way but 
um, I know that there are some products up there that are meant for locks and stuff like that and some natural hair products so I'm gonna try to incorporate those into my day to day using my hair or my weekly um, routine for my hair and yeah I'm gonna try to film as much of that as possible pretty much this video just is <laughs> completely random if I had to be very honest it's completely random and I am just rambling right now but in a sense I kind of want to put it out there because you can talk to your family and stuff about it about how you feel about YouTube but to be very honest they a lot of them don't really understand what you're doing when I first started this channel it wasn't for views it wasn't for subscribers it was really for me to show the world what I knew in terms of art and craft and then I started to become really fascinated with the makeup so I started to do that and I realized I've gotten to a level where um, I'm good at it in the sense that if I was to go I'll get compliments on it but it's not nearly to the level of the girls that are here which is fine with me you know what practice makes perfect and you definitely need to experiment which I am going to do some more this year I'm not 100% sure the direction that I'm going to take with this, but I think I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to what my channel was originally about in the beginning. Um, I do have some sewing tutorials that I want to do. I was just struggling a little bit with the camera angles and that kind of thing. So I'm just giving you kind of a look into the things that I've been going through for the past year. Um, I've reached uh, 200 and something subscribers, like almost 220. So I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and sticking around with me. Whether you subscribe because of my makeup tutorials, my hair stuff, my hair reviews, anything like that. Thank you very much. I know it's not a lot to be very honest compared to some of the other girls that have been here for like say six months and they have a thousand subscribers. But it's okay. I think the, the whole point is to not be caught up in a numbers game and yes it would be so easy for me to say oh don't get caught up in a numbers game because I only have 200 subscribers but the honest truth is when you are so caught up in it sometimes you start to do things that you do not enjoy and I really want this channel to be focused around things that I enjoy doing so that way when people subscribe to me it is because of things that I enjoy doing not because I am doing something to gain subscribers to, to let people send things to me for free I mean yes granted that would be nice but the original purpose of my channel is not that it is simply to share what I know and what I have learned and pretty much to see how I grow over the years so yeah I just want to thank you guys again for sticking around I am not sure if I got any of my points across but as always I'm gonna tell you guys just leave a comment below let's have a discussion about what you think what are your goals for 2014 and for me pretty much it's just to manage my money better because as you would know I live in Barbados and the state of our economy in Barbados is not that hot right now you know people know I talking about ain't mm -mm. no hunty it's not nice but pretty much to be a little bit better with my money and to definitely be just a better person in terms of being understanding being a better listener those kind of things just to be a better person in life um, for the past that I'm not a hundred percent sure nobody knows what's gonna take us you know how, what is gonna happen in life and where it's gonna go but this year it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and I'm just gonna write that out first until we get to a point and then we can make a plan for the next two years for the next five years for the next ten years but once we get past this little hurdle with you know the whole government and whatever here in Barbados then we will be able to make a more solid plan but I know at the end of it all no matter how it ends how it goes I want to be happy and that is pretty much what I want for my life I know whether I'm 30 35 40 50 70 80 if I get that age I want to be happy that is pretty much the you know basic basic thing if anybody had asked me one thing I want for life is happiness um, and I don't care how it comes that sounds bad but happiness you know 
I don't know if happiness will be having a lot of money or just living comfortably or living the way I live now but just being able to take joy in those little things so yeah I just want to wish you guys a uh, happy new year again thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to me and yeah I'm so glad that you sticked around to this end of this little chit chat um, just click like on this video if you like this video post me a comment below and let me know any of your new year's resolutions um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see y'all guys a little bit later.